we will start a new lab session and this will be on structures so we already know what are structures and so let's see here so we define one structure here so this is struct card and i define char star face and char star suite so it means i have a card structure and where i have two character arrays which is one is face and which gives about suite then similarly i define another structure where we have char face 20 and char suite 15 so so what's the difference between these two so the difference is that here we just have a pointer to character array so this is just a pointer to char similarly this also is a pointer to char so they will whenever memory is being specified or allocated for struct card so we will be allocated so this is just a pointer so it will require four byte and again this will require 4 byte so this is the memory allocation for structure card mm -hmm. but for card 2 what happens is now this is not a pointer but this is a character array which has first one has 20 bytes of memory requirement and the second one has 15 bytes of memory requirement so this is the first thing that we have to know that okay what how the size and memory allocation depends upon the if we have pointers inside the structure and if we have character array so next let's look at the code again so we have now we define main and we have so we have here struct card a uh, card and struct card star card pointer so this is a simple structure variable whereas this is a pointer so now we uh, assign the values to a card dot face and a card dot suite and then so what happens now here so let's see the memory structure so it's very important here so what happens here is so we have a card we make and so this is a all our pointers so here what happens is we are allocated just enough memory so that we have memory for card and here the pointers ptr1 ptr2 and this ace and spades are allocated some memory so this is pointing now to somewhere in memory where ace is written and this is pointing to somewhere in memory where spades is written so these are some memory locations to where it is written but here the amount of memory that we need is 4 byte for this pointer and 4 byte for this pointer so now what is happening here so if we see so here we are writing something so this tells us about how to access structure variables so we can access it using dot operator when we are using simple variables so a card dot face i can do a card dot suite i can do but if i have pointers so how to access it so first thing is we dereference it the pointer so it becomes a kind of variable now so we have card ptr and then we access a dot face but because pointers and structures are used so much together so we have another more common approach which is to use 
arrow operator so we can write after card ptr which is pointer to structure i can access it using arrow and then i can write face so this will also access for me the variables member variables inside the structure so this is the first way as we can see and this is the second way and so this is the third way we using pointer and study referencing it so next thing is we do is we say that okay size of struct card so this is where pointers are involved and this is struct card where the character arrays are there so we see that the first one the size is 8 after i ran this code and the second one it's 35 which was 20 plus 15 size so we can see the difference and then the code that is there is now here what we see this is also interesting to understand so what we do is we make a an array of cards so we have three elements in the array and they are of structure card type and what i do is i print the pack card the second element which is pack card one so i print its members and then there is card pointer i point to card pack card 0 and then I do card ptr plus 2 and then I print so what happens is this pointer gets incremented by 2 and it prints for me queen and spades so this basically pointer arithmetic is it moves the pointer to the next element by size of that type to which the pointer is pointing that's why we go to the third element of the array so this was about structures how to use the array of structures how to access the member functions so all these things we learned today in the class